Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working here as a functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see the third method of the first module, that is the Accounts Reconciliation Compliance module. So it is called the Variance Analysis Method. Now, Variance Analysis Method is done to extract the information about the difference in the cost for month over month or quarter over quarter and through this an organization can know that how much cost has increased or decreased when compared to a particular month or a period so it helps the organization in budget planning and it provides you with the information that you want for the purpose of reporting and analyzing so there are two things one is to do the reconciliation and second is to extract the information from that particular reconciliation so perform and on the basis of the reports or analysis, you can strategize your next month or quarter uh, particular project in terms of costing and revenue. So basically, no new reconciliations are created, but for the same reconciliations, two different profiles will be created. Uh, for example, one for balance comparison or account analysis and one for the variance analysis. So we will see the procedure and go to our application. So this is the home page of our application and for the variance analysis method, the first step is to create a format. So we will use the already created format. So from application, I will go to configuration and then I will choose the format. So as you can see, uh, these two are already created. This is variance analysis monthly or variance analysis quarterly. So it can be done according to the frequencies that are set in your organization. So I'm going to choose the monthly one. Uh, so basically what I will do, uh, I will import the balances into three different periods and then I will uh, do the reconciliation and compare the cost for the three different periods. So this is the format. As you can see, this is variance analysis method uh, with the monthly frequency. Okay method is variance analysis this is my balance summary tab uh, source system i will import the balances in the source system variance explanation tab is there and uh, this is important prior period frequency is monthly i haven't chosen here quarterly okay i'll just close this and the next step is to create a profile so i am going to create a new profile for this So I will, uh, from here, I will click on add and create a new profile. I'm skipping the description as of now. Process is variance analysis. Risk rating I can choose according to my organization. Account type. As I'm comparing the cash expenses, so I'm going to select cash. Balance is debit. Organizational unit, I will select North America. Format that I will use is variance analysis monthly format that we have seen just now. Okay. And then the next step is to go to the workflow tab. Now from here, I will select my preparer. So I will select Frank Taylor, click on OK. Frequency is monthly. Now this is important. As in the format, I have chosen the monthly frequency format. So in the profile also, I have to select monthly only. Otherwise, it will give me errors while doing the reconciliation. Offset days I'm providing for one and duration is two. Then it is scheduled from close date. 
I'll select my reviewer as well. Click on add. So Amy Marlin, click on okay. Monthly and then duration two days. Then I will go to currency. Here, I will select for my rate type and I will choose only functional currency. And then I'm going to save and close this profile. Now, once the profile is made, the next step is to go to the periods and import the balances into different periods. Okay. So I'm going to perform the uh, variance analysis method for June, July, and August. So as you can see that, these are my um, Excel sheets for different, different months. This is for the period of June. Okay. This is for the period of June. Th this balance I will import in the period of June. Okay. This is for the period of July. And this is for the period of August. Then I will again go to my application. So I will uh, quickly uh, check that whether these periods are open or not. So June, July and August is uh, closed. So I will just open this. So firstly, I will import the balances in the period of June. So from the actions tab, I will go to import pre map balances, import pre map balances. Choose my file from here. So this is for the period of June. These are the CSV files. Balance type is source system. Period is June. Currency bucket is functional. And file delimiter is comma. I will import. And I will see the progress in the staging tables. Click on refresh. As you can see, the balances have been imported successfully. Okay. Then I will repeat the process for two different periods. Like for July, I will import the balances again. This is for the period of July. Currency bucket functional. And I will import the balances. Process has been completed. Then for the August period. So the process is completed. Now I will perform the reconciliation for the particular profile. So this is my profile and I'm going to select this and uh, perform the reconciliation for three different periods. From actions, I will go to create reconciliations. Firstly, I will do it for June period. Click on apply.
so it is done for the period of june then i will select for july click on apply then the same procedure is done for the august period as well So now the process has been done. We will check whether the balances have been imported or not. And whether the reconciliation has been done or not. So I'll go to the reconciliations card. Search for my profile. So 40,000 uh, was in the period of June. If I select july and august as well so you can see these three balances have been imported okay so for the period of june uh, it, the balance is forty thousand. now uh, when i compare june with july the uh, cost has increased to sixty five thousand. so this is a negative variance unfavorable variance okay and then again from july to august the cost has decreased so the organization can compare easily uh, and it helps in budget planning as well. So I will uh, log, log out from here and provide for the explanations. So I will log in as Frank Taylor now. So uh, I have opened as Frank Taylor. Now, if I choose my correct period from here, and choose for my profile, So I'm going to provide for the explanations, okay? So first of all, I will open June period. Now, as you can see, there are no balances in the May because of the first period in which we have imported the balances June only. So it is not uh, comparing anything. So I will provide for the explanations here. Go to variance explanations, click on add. These are the current month expenses. Provide for the difference amount and save it. I will submit this reconciliation as well. Now I will open July period. Now, as you can see that two periods are reflected. Now from June to July, this graph is showing that the cost has been increased by 25,000. So my uh, June period balance was 40,000 and in July it has become 65,000. So I'm going to provide for this 25,000 balance. As you can see, now I have no unexplained differences. I will click on submit. Now I will go to August period. Now, as you can see that the cost has been uh, decreased. Okay. <clears throat> so from July, it was 65,000. And in August, it has become uh, 53,300. So it has reduced by 11,700. Okay. So as you can see that from June, it is uh, increasing and from July, it is decreasing to August. So uh, we can see these three periods simultaneously. So I'm going to provide for the explanations.
So I have no unexplained differences now. I'm going to submit this reconciliation. So this completes the whole process. And then the next step is uh, that the reviewer will open it and uh, whether he wants to approve it or reject it. And if uh, there are some mistakes, he will again send back to the preparer for any corrections. So this is the complete procedure. Thank you so much.